Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, this is Michael Cordes and this is my week four demonstration speech. And for this week I will just be discussing creating a strong character pose within Maya with your character. Um, a little bit about myself, I'm a second year student here at UAT. I was formerly ed educated in art at the Joe Kubert Art School in Dover, New Jersey. And other than that, within uh, Maya itself, I am pretty much self-taught. Uh, with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. Uh, this character you see right here is a character I have conceptualized, modeled, and rigged myself. I have really good control over this character. As you can see, I can stretch him out, I can take his legs, I can stretch these out. Um, really, I have a lot of good control with this character, and yeah, hopefully that will translate well into an awesome character pose. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Now this particular scene, I created a pit of spikes in which my character, uh, whose name is Polygon Lad, uh, which stands for uh, Polygon, which are the objects that you can use within Maya to create uh, characters such as him. So he's going to be grinding over this pit of spikes in spectacular fashion. At least that is the goal. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. And I just want to, the first thing that I want to touch upon when creating a strong character pose is ans first answering the acronym uh, WOLFAME, uh, which stands for Wants, Objectives, Feelings, um, As Ifs, Intentions, and Moment Before. And basically what that means is, you know, what are the wants of your characters? Uh, what are his objectives? How is he feeling? Um, you know, what was he doing five minutes before? So I find that if you are able to answer these questions, then you're really off to a good start, and you are really going to give your character that much more life, uh, that much more substance. And, you know, doing so will really drive your animation. It, it really will. If, if not, then, I mean, you are just pretty much doing things at random. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to um, pose this character out. And he's going to be doing a backside full torque, I believe the grind is called. Alright, so. And with a particular pose like this, you want to make sure that there is good balance throughout. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the right knee here and just pop this up like that. And grab this left leg, this left foot, uh, rotate it more. And go ahead, pop that back like that. All right. Okay. And I find that, you know, when working with characters in Maya, you know, the better the character rig that you have is, you know, the more, sh the stronger the pose that you know you're you're going to be able to squeeze out of it. All right. So yeah, um, when creating key poses such as this, also known as the golden poses, you know, especially within Maya, you want always want to rotate in the viewport at every possible angle, not miss a single view. You know, because doing so, you'll be able to get a better idea of the pose itself. I'm going to go ahead and continue to do so. All right. And for this particular pose, I'm just more or less kind of freestyling the pose. But, you know, in a perfect world situation, you would already have this pose planned out on paper in 2D, uh, preferably drawn already as well. But I'm just going to go ahead and just freestyle this a bit and just kind of see where, you know, the pose takes me. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab his fingers here and really try to add some emphasis on that. And that is the one thing that I try to, I guess, stress when I am creating uh, golden poses is, you know, emphasis. And particularly in this uh, pose, which is an action shot, you know, you really want to try to push, uh, I guess, the, emo the emotion of the character. You know, you don't want it to be stale or boring. You want it to have some life, some vitality, vitality to it, and, which is really going to make it really interesting for the viewer, as you yourself. Uh, I mean, the word animate means to bring to life. So, I mean, that's what you really want to do as an animator. So, 
I'm going to go ahead and continue to pose this guy out. All right. Hit the thumb up here. I'm not get too carried away, but you know. Go ahead and flip this back a bit and out like that, just a little bit. There we go. So he's really, really trying to maintain balance. So I'm going to hit his shoulders up here a bit. All right. Now, and I'm going to go ahead and hit up his chest, bring it down like that, over like that. Probably bring this back a little bit more. I want to make sure that there's good balance throughout the character. I don't want to make want to make sure that he's not there's too much emphasis on one side or the other but the fact that he is very well balanced I right, bring his head over a bit more now this character this particular rig is not finished I still have to finish his face but I have decent control over his eyes and mouth so he's about 90% finished I'm gonna have him looking down at the pit of spikes and his mouth is going to be gaping wide open like what did I get myself into <laughs> all right so this is the first pass you know I, I usually do several passes at uh, creating poses and you know animating in general oh no wrong one yeah, this one okay and like I said I really really try to tweak the pose out and I try to get as much as I possibly can out of what I'm given to work with in regards to the character. Okay, continue to pose them out. All right, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Actually, let me go ahead and put some movement into his back there. There we go. Go ahead and pull this back again. So I really try to get a good bend and also a good twist out of the torso. There we go. Alright. Okay, so I'm pretty satisfied with how the post is turning out so far. I'm going to go ahead and hit 7 on the keypad and it's going to silhouette the character and you can see here you know the shadow of the shadow silhouette of the character. And if you have a good silhouette then by all means you are in good position. So I'm going to go ahead and for sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and just take a render of this character really quick. Oh, whoops. Let me go ahead and hit this hip up. Get a little bit more movement out of that. A little bit more movement out of that. And probably more bend out of that. But bring it back just ever so slightly. And I'm just going to get a little bit more rotation up out of the head. Really try to push the pose as extreme as I possibly can. Try to really give it as much life that I possibly can. So, there we go. Bring the shoulder up and just bend this in just a little bit. And with that, I am satisfied with this pose. I'm gonna go ahead and take a render. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my character and smooth them out. All right. and. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and find a good shot to take, and I'm just going to go ahead and do a front shot, a frontal shot here. I'm going to go ahead and focus in on, let's just say his feet here, alright, and pull back, whoops, and really try to, you know, get a good pose here, or I mean a good uh, camera angle that's really capturing the emotion of the character. So I'm going to go ahead and take a render. This is one previous. So there it is. Uh, there is my character rendered out at 720p. I Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, this is uh, Key Poses by Michael Cordes. Thanks for watching.